Welcome back everybody. Today I'm just going to show you how to use this saw blade tension guide. Um, it's a little gauge that has a dial indicator in it. It has a static leg and a movable leg and it quantifies exactly how much tension that you're putting into your wood miser or any bandsaw uh, blade that you're running, either a vertical or a horizontal, even a resaw or a smaller vertical bandsaw that you might have in a uh, home shop. This gauge shows you exactly how much tension that you're putting into it. Every time you either tension your blade or load in a new blade, um, you can quantify exactly how much you're putting into the blade. That way you can repeat your results. So why don't I show you how we use it? Okay, so we are back. Um, to preload the indicator, I'm gonna release it again just to show you exactly where we are. The dial rests over there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this leg and we're gonna push it slightly this way. Just so we can preload that dial, we're going to watch the dial move over too much, just about there. We're going to tighten that down. You'll see that it, it creeps to the left again. We don't want it to rest there. We want to go a little bit farther beyond. We'll tighten it. And it's still, it's still preloaded. It doesn't look like it put too much preload on, but it's just enough. So what we do is we turn our dial face so that at rest, our tension is zero underneath the dial, all right? What I'm gonna do is I'm going to tension the blade for the first time and see what the dial reads. Okay, so what you can see is that our, our dial is reading about 17 right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the saw blade tension off, uh, tighten down the bushing a little bit more so we can get more tension. And if you're looking carefully now, it might be a little hard to see on the indicator. When we release the tension, the saw blade, does not, the tension gauge does not come back to zero. It comes back past zero. And that's because we've stretched the saw blade a little bit. So it's important to re-zero that indicator before you do additional rounds of tensioning on your blade. So we're back at zero. We're about to throw the lever for the second time. All right, so we're actually reading 15 again. So I'm gonna take it off, put even more tension on the saw blade. All right, we're reading about 17 now. I'm gonna detension the saw blade, do it again. Now the same thing, I'm checking to see if it stayed on zero. If it moved, I'm gonna move the needle to match the zero. Now we have about 22,000. That's the red on the outside, the PSI. That's what we want. If you're in Europe, you're gonna read the inner black scale, which is in kilopascals. But uh, we're at about 21. I'm gonna increase it just a little bit more. So we'll see if it stays at zero when I drop the, the tension down to zero. And we're still at zero, so I'm gonna put a little bit more tension into the blade and hopefully we'll, sh we'll hit 25. And we're about 22 right now. That's, that'll be perfect for what we're doing. All right guys, that's how you run it. And then the last thing to remember is, whenever you take this blade guide off, Take off your movable leg first. That way it doesn't shock your indicator when you're trying to take off the entire assembly. Loosen your static leg and it slips right off like that. Catch you on the next one, guys. Thank you. Hey, guys. It's uh, me, Andy. H, attention gauge. Cut that.